Dr. Sami Al Amoudi from Saudi Arabia. I got breast cancer in April 2006. Since that, my life has changed a lot. I found a new world. Yeah, breast cancer is the number one female cancer there. The most important is that is is not the number of cases that you have, is the number of cases who come at late stages, in advanced stages. In Saudi Arabia, until recently, the word cancer will not be mentioned. I believe that media is the strongest tool. You might have women who do not read, you might have women who do not have access to internet. Almost every family, they will have a TV even in the kitchen. A live example is more powerful than giving thousands of lectures. 70% of our cases, they come in advanced stages. When you have a screening mammogram, it will cost a woman 500 riyal. If you are going to treat a lady who is in advanced stage, it will cost 500,000 riyal. For the policy makers, it would be cost effective and much economically wise decision to have screening than to have to treat the late advanced stages. Breast cancer is considered a taboo. They don't know that there are people who have breast cancer and they could live for 20 years. Survivors are not known because nobody talks about it. Being a physician myself and being a patient, I thought it's a responsibility and my duty to start and do something about it, to break the silence. I have a regular column in one of the local newspapers. My little daughter wrote a small book about her feelings when I got breast cancer. So I used that one as a tool to go to the school and start to break the taboo and the phobia. I'm focusing on the young generation by just telling them that there is something called breast cancer just to say the word, talking about it. Since the day I've got breast cancer, I've started to say to all women that I know that I don't want to see a woman suffering the way I did. Sometimes we neglect ourselves because the priority is not well organized. When early detection is the answer. The most important thing is that if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for the sake of your children, because without your help, I don't think you will be able to take care of your family or your loved ones.